How to install Signal app on your phone. Look, I'm 50 years old, but I seem to have a lot of friends and relatives who have trouble installing apps, whether it be WhatsApp or Signal. For some reason, everyone seems to manage Messenger, but Messenger hasn't been working properly for a lot of us lately, so we tried a few ones and we've ended up on Signal, but not everyone manages to install it. So, here it is step by step very slow with lots of space and time to do these things i tell you in between let's have a go first wake up your phone unlock it swipe down type in your pin number whatever you do to wake up your phone okay is your phone awake great next step now we're going to swipe down from the top, the very, very top, like your hand has to be over the edge of the phone and swipe down. If you swipe from the middle of the screen, you'll get a different result. So click out of that, backspace out of that, back out of that, let's try again, swipe down from the top. What we're trying to do is get the search box to appear at the top. If you can't see the search box, back out, try again, swipe down with your finger from the top. Okay, now we've got the search box, click in there or touch it with your finger. Um, and type the word play, P-L-A-Y. Okay, you got that? All right. Can you see a box in these boxes at the top that looks like that picture there? It's called the Play Store icon. Touch the Play Store icon with your picture and wait. It'll take a moment. Let it open. Now, touch beside that, that magnifying glass there in the top. Okay, just touch there with your finger and that'll make the... Um, keyboard up here again and type the word signal S-I-G-N-A-L okay now nothing seems to have happened you probably need to touch the another magnifying glass this is a different magnifying glass to the one we had a few minutes ago this one is on the bottom right touch that S-I-G-N-A-L touch the magnifying glass okay now you're gonna see this picture it's blue a blue square with a white circle it's actually a speech bubble but when you see that when you see the signal option with a blue square and the white speech bubble touch the green install button so touch that it says install touch it okay now we're going to touch the blue continue button and then we're going to touch another continue button it looks probably more like that then we're going to touch allow so just keep saying yes, continue, continue, allow, okay, whatever it asks, just keep saying yes. Now you're going to type in your phone number. Uh, don't put the O in if you're in New Zealand. Um, you actually need a plus six four if you're in New Zealand or plus whatever it is for the country code wherever you are. You can actually click on this little thing here and um, choose which country you're in. Where you're in New Zealand, click on that, put it six four, put in your number without the O in front. Okay, now it's going to text you, it's going to send you a six digit code. Now in the old days you had to write that on a piece of paper and then come back in, but um, when I was doing it on my friend Leo's phone, it just opened the text and it all entered the six digit code all by itself into the app, so then you just have to wait while it has a think about that. Oh, did I mention you've got to do that? type in your number without the O, press done, it'll send a text, and as I say, I couldn't believe my eyes, it just opened the text, entered the number all by itself. If you're unlucky, you have to type in that number. Okay, have you done that? Okay, now it's time to put your name in. Where it says first name, just touch there, and that'll make the keyboard appear. Type your name in, giving you lots of time to do this because most people's names are complicated or you get it wrong even though you've spelled it a million times in your life okay now um, if you're a visual person or a big online presence you probably want to put your profile photo there if you're an introvert don't worry about it touch the little camera picture can you see this tiny this picture of like a person's head and shoulders and there's a little tiny thing there touch that little camera picture and we're going to add a photo of you or, or otherwise just watch and come back in at step 19. Okay, it's going to open your camera 
it may ask you permission to open your camera or whatever, take a photo of the person whose phone it is. Now it's always best if someone else takes the photo because in selfies you always look like you're concentrating so hard to press the button that you don't look your best. Well, that's my personal thing. Using your finger you can actually drag this photo around and center the face um, or make it bigger or smaller. When you're happy, press the little tick button at the bottom right here. I'm giving you lots of time to do it. Okay, now I think if you press one of these pretty buttons you can become a cat or a fox or a toucan or something, but I didn't try pressing them. Press the save button at the bottom. Now press the next button at the bottom of the next screen. Okay, now you've got to think of four digits you're going to be able to remember and it's going to say create your pin so you've got to do that type in four numbers as usual not consecutive or anything silly like that um, not your birthday four numbers so press next when you've done that okay you're going to get the screen next or something a bit like it no chats yet get started by messaging a friend what a good idea I'm waiting for you to create your pin and press next. Okay, here we go. Next screen. Okay, you'll get this screen here. You're going to press the pencil button because you're going to write a text and write a message. Okie doke. Now you've got to find someone to send it to. Um, click here where it says search name or number. Then um, if you were texting me, you'd type in J-O-A, and then when you see my entry come up, you've probably got me saved as Joanna or Joanna brackets 021 or Joanna, whatever it says, um, touch my name, touch the name. Okay, you got that? So you've typed in someone's name and you've touched it when it come up. Okay, um, so here I am. We're going to send me a message. Now you're going to have to press there it says signal mess so touch there and the keyboard will come up um, type hello Joanna or whoever whatever friend you're sending it to and then press the little blue arrow the message will change to a blue color after you've sent it okay so hopefully by now you've found a friend to email text message signal to you've typed it in hello Joanna press the blue button look it turns blue you know it's sent if it's still this color you haven't seen it type something in and press the arrow yeah. we'll do it again you can send them two messages hello Joanna um can you hear me or hi hello Joanna hi something okay now we're going to practice I want you to go out whichever way you do either that way or that go out and look at your ordinary screen now I want you to go back in to just remind yourself what to do next time you need to scroll through your phone looking for the signal at picture it's blue, a blue square with a white circle on all circles actually a speech bubble. Go out of the app and then go back in by pressing the square button and then um, if you've sent it to me or someone in your family or friends who makes groups they will add you to their new signal group and then you'll get all the messages from all your friends. Yay! I hope you've enjoyed my video. Please subscribe. Bye.